Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Multiplex Movie Melee. We got ourselves a teams match here, uh, working into, uh, I guess, uh, our new picture going on. We got Bring Out Your Dead going up against Law Deal. Uh, I'm not sure if these guys ever played each other before. I I'm misremembering. I got Pace in here with me. No, oh, other way. Uh, what kind of match do you think we got here today? Uh, I think it's going to be a super exciting match. Uh, both of these teams lost in the semifinals of this year's tournament. Uh, Bring Out Your Dead losing uh, to Back to Formula uh, uh, this year in a really exciting match. And Law Deal losing to Guinea Force. And I know I'm a little by Like, I'll just say from a personal level, like, maybe one of the best, like, uh, matches of the year, in my opinion. Like, I know I'm a little biased, but that was one of the more exciting matches to watch. Uh, I think both these teams, they've never been in a number one contender match. If they win this match tonight, that's where they get to. I'm sure they're excited to play this match. Let's see what they have to say. You know, we didn't set it up where the uh, both teams here have to uh, do a match where the hosts are both representative teams that beat them. I don't sure. think we well, you know, we didn't do that on purpose. It just kind of happened that way. But uh, let's bring in a uh, law deal, uh, Scott Harvey, Jacoby Bancroft. How are you guys doing? Doing good. Yeah, no, we're excited to be here. Always fun to be playing against our friends and fellow faction mates. It's it's exciting that one team from our faction will be in that number one contender match, guaranteed. Um, but, you know, after the tournament run that we had, I think we finally were kind of able to show to everyone and to ourselves maybe even what we were capable of. And like Payson said, that was taking getting you to the last question. So... I mean, if we did it once, I think we can do it again. And maybe David won't pull, won't have the crazy three point pull the next time. Uh, and, and we can come out on top. So I really want, want to, to win this and get back to the title match. It's been a while for me. And uh, I think Jacoby and I are at a, a peak right now. I agree with everything that man said. All right. Succinct. All right. Uh, we'll bring in uh, your opponent. Uh, bring out your dead. Uh, Dylan Vanthine, Jeremy Potters. How you guys doing? You go first. Oh, me? Okay. Yeah. Uh, I feel really good. Uh, yeah, and Law Deal is a team that uh, we we debuted in the same season, but we never got to play yet. One of the few ones uh, that we haven't played yet from that rookie class. Uh, and it's uh, very exciting because uh, they're a team that I've been uh, rooting for ever since they had a rough season last year, and they've, like, really showed up this season. Like, it was awesome to see the run that they've been going on. However, you, you implied it, Mark uh, Payson, I think you said it too. Uh, we have been – we have never been in a number one contenders match yet. We've always been circling it, never got one. Even when we went 5-0, and we didn't get a number one contenders match. Not a complaint. I'm just stating a fact. I understand the circumstances. So, yeah, I really, really want to win today. But uh, if we lose, that's fine. Jacoby and Scott are cool people. Jeremy? Yeah, this is this will be our third, right? One, two. No, this will be like our fourth number one contender contender match. Like we keep getting to the point of the match right before the number one contender match, like tournament semifinals, the Kumite match, all that. Uh, but like what Mark said earlier, both hosts – are from teams that knocked us both out of the tournament. So on behalf of all the players here today, uh, kiss our ass. Let's play. Let's have a game. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Uh, we'll get started with uh, round number one. Uh, it's going to work like this. So you get eight questions in uh, eight uh, general movie categories. At 15 seconds to write the answer down on your whiteboard. At the end of the time, we'll ask that uh, you show and verbalize your answer. Uh, you get a point for every correct answer, and any one of you gets all eight correct. You will receive a bonus question, also worth a point. Uh, you also get uh, three repeats and a challenge to use throughout the match. Anything else before we get started? Good luck, guys. Good luck. Good luck. All right. Good luck. First question, coming to the category of drama. How does Angier's wife, Julia, die in The Prestige? Take me back to 2009, Mark. Why 2009? Because that's that when Mario 2 came out, and we were all prestiging whenever we leveled up. Ah, that's what it is. Uh, five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Let's go to Dylan. Drowned. <clears throat> Scott. Drowns. Jeremy. 
You had to guess how a magician's wife dies. Drowns. <laughs> Obi. Drowns. Clean sweep there. Drowns is correct. As we head over to your, next, to your second question in the category of comic book movies. Ed Skrine plays the villainous Ajax, also known as Francis, in what comic book film? Is that how you say his name? I believe it is. Yes, I, I've, I've, I've seen this movie uh, many times. I, there's a hint if you know my personal life, but yeah. Yeah, I always get messed up on Ajax, too. Uh, five, four, three, <laughs> two, right. one. <laughs> Pens down. Let's go to Scott. I don't like comic book movies. I, I said Punisher Warzone. Jeremy. Yeah, I thought you meant Francus. I don't think I said you say Deadpool. <laughs> Jacoby. Deadpool. Especially you don't like Deadpool. Uh, Dylan. What? Deadpool. Deadpool is correct. Uh, bring out your dead. Getting the one point lead there. Four to three. Going to your next question. The category of the 1970s. Which 70s film is about a group of four boys who enter a bike racing competition together? So Scott's comment like reminded me of something that like I remember when the first Deadpool came out, everyone loved it. And then something happened like five or six years later where everyone liked to pretend like, oh man, I really hated this movie. So I went back and rewatched it and I was like, was I wrong? And it's like, no, it's not as good as we remember, but it's still really good. I just don't know what happened when everyone was like, we liked it. And those same people were like, no, we hate it. Four, three, two, one, pen down. Let's go to Jeremy. Is it breaking away? Uh, Jacoby. No, uh, Chariots of Fire. It's not about biking. Uh, Dylan. Breaking away. And Scott. <clears throat> Breaking away. Breaking away is correct. So, uh, bring us dead. Uh, widen the lead six to four. Going into your next question. Uh, your fourth question will come into the category of the 1980s, jumping up a decade. Name two of the three lead actors in Three Men and a Baby. Yeah, I just think the public really, really, really wanted to like an R-rated comic book movie. I think that played a lot into that. No, no, I, 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 I will agree. I think watching it, and I was like, I think we were kind of like taken aback at how different it was, but like it's still okay. Five, four, three, two. Repeat the question. Yep. Just beat me. All right. A uh, name two of the three lead actors in Three Men and a Baby. All right, I want to get off the con off the conversation. That guy. Uh, have you seen Breaking Away? No. Really, really phenomenal film. Yeah, it's not into bikes. You know. There. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Uh, was it for Jacoby? Said Ted Danson, Tom Selleck. Okay, Dylan. Said Tom Selleck and Leonard Nimoy. Okay, uh, Scott. Steve Gutenberg and Tom Selleck. And Jeremy. I had all three, but I didn't want to show off. I had Ted Danson and Tom Selleck. Yeah, we appreciate that. Uh, the correct answers were Tom Selleck, Ted Danson, and Steve Gutenberg. Nice. So, uh, uh, with that, uh, Laudiel, uh, gets one up, uh, seven, seven to six branch of dead still ahead. Going to your next question in the category of animation in early man, what sport do the caveman, sorry, what sport do the cavemen and the bronze age team play against each other? I will neither confirm nor deny whether we already mentioned the sport that they play. Gosh, I wish I'd listened. Yeah, we don't, we don't, we don't do that very often. So you know, there you go. Uh, five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Uh, we're back around the band, Dylan. It's either golf or soccer. I put golf. And Scott. I said basketball. Jeremy. I said soccer. Jacoby. I also guess soccer. Soccer is correct. So, uh, 
Good job. Yeah. Dead. Eight to seven. Uh, your sixth question will be coming to you in the category of comedy. Which 90s comedy stars Eddie Murphy as a seductive advertising executive who is taken aback when his new boss attempts to seduce him? Wow. Don't you hate it when that happens to you, Mark? Uh, it would be for me. Uh, I'm in a family business. No, oh, no, no, oh, Jesus. Okay, Cody, put your funny edit in there again. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, Therapy, one. Sorry. Okay, uh, that's a you gotta that's it. Uh, which 90s comedy stars Eddie Murphy as a seductive advertising executive who is taken aback when his new boss attempts to seduce him? Dylan just wanted us to live in this moment longer. Yeah, I was going to say. Just, it's always fun when we host together because we always get these like spectacular moments. <laughs> I, I mean, I think Cody and maybe some of the audience would disagree, but I, I mean, know a lot of audience. I just can't plan for it. <laughs> I know a lot of audience. Three, two, one, pens down. Where the hell are we, Scott? I said boomerang. Okay, uh, Jeremy. Boomerang. Jacoby. I also said boomerang. Dylan. I'm off today. I said a distinguished gentleman. Uh, boomerang is correct. So we're all tied up at nine. Good job, Going into your penultimate question, the category romance. In Garden State, what condition does Samantha suffer from? Uh, okay. I'm going to keep this is real this safe. Have you ever been to New Jersey? Ah, oh, no. I've barely okay. been outside of Texas. Okay. Neither have I. Shout out to Andrew Barr. Five, four, three, two, one. Uh, pens down. Excuse me. Uh, Jeremy. Epilepsy. Uh, Kobe. I said asthma. Dylan. I said OCD. <laughs> And Scott. Also said OCD. Epilepsy. Let's fucking go. Kid. Is correct. So Jeremy gets that to give Bring Out Your Dead the lead. Going into your final question of the round. Final question in the category of directors. Who directed Bad Day at Black Rock? And I will say, uh, Mark, I watched this movie this year. Wonderful film. Yeah, uh, never seen it. Uh, people talk about it. Uh, I guess a lot here. I don't know. It keeps coming up here. And like, people, I guess people like it. Yeah. And there's like Five, four. Repeat three. the question. Right. That is a lot of deals. First repeat. The category of directors who directed Bad Day at Black Rock. I feel like there's one like major related question that always comes up about this movie. And I don't think most people know much about the other stuff. I know exactly what you're talking about, because I believe I've been asked that twice. Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. Hands down. Hey, glad it works out this way. Uh, Jacoby. I said John Ford. Okay. Dylan. I said Stanley Kramer. Uh, uh, Scott. I hope not, because that's the other one I was thinking. I said Peter Bogdanovich. And didn't jinx him, potentially, for the perfect round, Jeremy. It didn't, it didn't matter. I don't think I said Peter Weird. Huh. No perfect rounds today. All incorrect. Uh, the correct answer was John Sturgis. Oh, John Sturgis. Okay. that's it. Well, with that, got Bring Out Your Dead at 10, Law Deal at 9. Is that what you have, Payson? Ooh, okay. Uh, what I have. Alrighty, uh, bringing up the wheel. Uh, we're going into uh, round number two, which is <laughs> it's the way around, in which uh, both of our teams will get a chance to spin our wheel. They like what they spin on the first time, they can keep it. If not, they can elect to spin again. Uh, but they must keep what they land on the second time. Uh, teams are going to have to answer five questions of whatever category they land on worth two points apiece, or they can check down to multiple choice for one point apiece. There is stealing, so, you know, watch your ass, you know, your teams. You, you should be used to that by now. Uh, the categories that are on the wheel today are uh, post-1990 
1960 Oscar nominated horror and horror selected by Branch of Dead, directed by Richard Linklater and recently releases selected by Law Deal, as well as romance, 1980s, westerns, music, and spinners and opponent's choice. Bring out your dead, you are ahead. So it's up to you whether you want to spin first or defer. You want to defer? Yeah. Yeah. Makes the most well. sense right now. Great round, by the way. Holy shit. That was great. He carried us. Thanks. Right. I kind of wish they had jinxed me. Maybe it would have worked the other way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> whoever whoever wrote shit. it. Whoever wrote it clearly has very different uh, taste in movies than me. Uh, let's defer. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Uh okay. lot of you. This is a big first money. Spin. Big money, big money, big money. And you land on post nineteen sixty Oscar nominated horror. Would you like to keep that a spin again? There's just a lot of them is the only thing. So yeah, I think we should spin again. I think we have to we have to risk it, right? Like yeah. I think we do. Because it's their strength. Like we we have to we have to risk it for the biscuit. Come on, Let's I'm feeling good it. about that second spin. All right, here it is. Please, God. It land on music. All right. All right. Um, yeah. I like music. <laughs> That's good that you do. So. <laughs> I just meant mu music. We'll see. Oh, music in general. <laughs> I think in my world hey. singles match, I went 0 for 10. So just to Payson, why don't you that. give them their questions in music? <laughs> Absolutely. Law deal. Are you prepared for your questions in the category of music? Yes. Yes. Okay. Your first question. Which 90s music film? is about a radio show being blamed for a high school student's suicide. That's pump up the volume, isn't it? Yeah. I do know that one. Yeah. yeah. That is pump it. up the volume, final answer. Correct for two points. That's a good movie. Yeah, it is. Uh, your second question. Jimmy works in a factory that makes what in eight miles? I know the f I know he works in the factory. I don't know what they make. Um, we can go to multiple. Hold. We're probably going to have to. Let's just think. Right. We're on question two. Uh, yeah, right? I, I don't know. I've never seen it. So yeah, multiple choice. Multiple choice. Your multiple choice options. Is it A, planes, B, textiles, C, cars, or D, sheet metal? I want to. I want to say. Charlie or Keith? I, I kind of want to say Keith. Okay. All right, D, final answer. That is incorrect. Bring out your dead. The chance for the one-point steal. Is it A, planes, B, textiles, C, cars, or D, sheet metal? So cars was the one that stuck out to me, or the one that popped into my head before they went to multiple choice. Okay. So, yeah, it's been so long since I've seen it. I don't remember what they make. Uh, me neither. So do you want to just go cars? Five. Yeah, that's fine. Three. Cars final answer. That is correct for the one point steal. It is Detroit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really happy no one shot for two on spaghetti. All right. <laughs> Question in the category of music. In Wild Rose, Rose Lynn sings a song about what UK city that she's originally from. Glasgow. <laughs> okay. It's an amazing song. Go listen to the song and go watch the movie. Glasgow, final okay. answer. I've heard phenomenal things, and that is correct for two points. I knew there was no Good chance job, Scott. Scott was missing that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That does seem like a Scott movie. Yeah. Uh, your penultimate, I, I mean that as a compliment. Uh, your penultimate question, the category of music. Who directed Topsy Turvy? Oh, I um, think that's Mike Lee. Do you want to swing for it? We might as well, because I think we're we might be. If you want to take a sec to think about it, we can repeat as well. But if you want Mike to swing, Lee, final answer. That is correct for two points. Good job, partner. And your final question in the category of music: Which U.S. state is waiting for Guffman set in? I think it's. I mean, it's got to be somewhere in the, like the Midwest, right? Yeah, now. I just, I don't know which one it is, but I know it's it's there. All right, let's go to multiple then. Yeah. All right. Your multiple, multiple choice options is it A. Missouri, B. Arkansas, C. Oklahoma, or D. Kansas. I'm thinking Christine or Mick. This is our last question, right? Yeah. Let's repeat those options. All right. Uh, your yeah, or, second or repeat of the options. 
Is it A, Missouri, B, Arkansas, C, Oklahoma, or D, Kansas? I think Mick sounds code, right. I think so. Okay. Oklahoma, final answer. That is incorrect. Bring out your dead. The chance for the one point steal is it A, Missouri, B, Arkansas, C, Oklahoma, or D, Kansas? So I haven't seen it, and I'm Canadian. So do you have any <laughs> idea? <laughs> they said Oklahoma, too. So maybe Arkansas? It's, been, saw, it's my least favorite of those movies. So, uh, yeah, let's go for it. Why not? Uh, Arkansas, Arkansas final answer. Final answer. That is also incorrect. We were looking for A Missouri. Alrighty, with that, a lot deal getting their score up to fifteen. Uh, Branch dead with uh, Steel getting their score up to eleven. Is that what you have, Payson? That is exactly what I have. Great. Bring back up the wheel. This would be Branch or Dead's first spin. Go and we're gonna land on the category of romance. Uh, should I keep that or spin again? Uh, can I see the wheel just for a second? Sure, there it is. I'm thinking we could probably spin again. Like, yeah. I'm not really afraid of anything on this wheel. So, no, like, they got they took the one that I probably wanted the least, to be honest. So, I'm good. Going again. Cool. Yeah, Thank let's you. spin again. <laughs> All righty. Both teams spinning twice to see what they get. And you land on Son of a, a, a post-1960 right. Oscar-nominated horror. All right. Yeah. Okay, buddy. All right. Oh, let's take off the wheel. Uh, I will give you your questions in this category. And here we go. Your first question. In Sleepy Hollow, Ian McDiarmid plays Thomas Lancaster, who serves the town with what profession? Okay, I believe he is the mortician. Yeah, yeah, that's Palpatine, so yeah, yes. Yeah, you, re you remember that, right? I'm not misremembering this? Mm -hmm. Yeah, right, you're cool. Good. Let's go with that. Mortician, final answer. Three. That is incorrect. Uh, let's go over to Law Deal for the two-point steal. So they're acting like it's close. I mean, could it be like a doctor? Just a, a doctor who serves the town in what profession? He probably could be the doctor. Or like, the undertaker is the same thing as mortician, isn't it? So like yeah. that wouldn't be – or a grave digger. Well, let's, doctor, let's say doctor, two. final answer. That is correct for two points. Do you want to, like, challenge that? Because, like, they – I mean, he – he. I guess he does do – I think they, he might do medical work, but I thought, like, he they he brings them in to, like, exa help – because he has the body, oh, he, like, he, a dead body that he's he, examining, and then – Yeah, he does the autopsy, so I, I don't think we'll win it if we challenge so. it. No. But, like, he does the – Obviously, that's like yeah. No, yeah. All right. No. Yeah. So we're moving on. I guess. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Your next question. In Poltergeist Two, the other, in Poltergeist Two, the other side, the Freelings have relocated to what U.S. city? I didn't get to it. Uh, I, I don't know. I think we got a multiple. Okay. Multiple choice. Multiple choice options are A, San Antonio, B, Denver, C, Phoenix, or D, Albuquerque. Hmm. Any of those sticking out to you? Or well, they, they were in California in the first one, right? Right. Yeah. Five. Oh, Phoenix. Repeat the options, please. All right. Uh, your uh, options again: A. San Antonio. B. Denver. C. Phoenix. Or D. Albuquerque. Maybe Phoenix. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I got none of them are really many more than the other ones. So yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Four. 
three. Phoenix, final answer. That is correct. For okay, one good job. Hey. Right, your next question. No. Who plays Arthur Rosenberg in Altered States? Arthur, okay. Shit. Is that Bob Balaban? Or is that uh, okay. William Hurt? Five. No, nah, they wouldn't ask the lead. Go with three. The Bob. Go no, repeat the question. I guess that's our final one. Shit. Yeah. That's okay. Okay, that is your final repeat. Your question again. Who plays Arthur Rosenberg in Altered States? Do you want to go for it? Yeah. Yeah, we need to shoot. Yeah, why not? Just let me wait for the countdown. Five, there it is. Four, All right. Three. Bob Balaban, final answer. That is correct for cool. two points. All right. Uh, going into your penalty question. What specifically does Susanna York's character write in images? Specifically? Oh, shoot. I, damn, I watched this recently. I can't remember, though. I think I'll know it on multiple choice. We can afford okay. to go once and still tie it. Multiple choice, yeah. please. All right, multiple choice options are A, travel guides, B, children's books, C, cookbooks, or D, instruction manuals. Okay, I believe it's travel guides. Okay. That's the one that stuck out to me the most. I trust you. You good with that? All right. Yeah. Travel guides, final answer. That is incorrect. Going over to Law Deal for the one point steal. Is it A, travel guides, B, children's books, C, cookbooks, or D, instruction manuals? Any idea? Uh, I was I was thinking cookbooks at first before they said any of the options, but I've never also seen this. I just think that's like something specific people would write in a movie. Okay. Unless you have, you know, unless you're trying to... No, I, I'm, I'm probably trying to overthink it. Yeah, we'll just go cookbooks, final answer. That is also incorrect. Uh, we're looking for B, children's books. Okay. I was going to say the other one, so... <laughs> I was thinking that that, that logic goes. Oh, it's like travel guides, instruction manuals. Yeah, clothes. exactly, yeah. Yeah. Right. Either final way. Way. Final question in the category. In Shadow of the Vampire, during Orlok's Rampage, F.W. Murnau yells at him for eating his photographer, lamenting that he should have eaten what film profession instead? What does Whoa. he say? <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so he eats his cameraman, cinematographer, whatever. That's why they bring Elways in. Uh, I, I have no idea, honestly. For a writer. I think it's writer. Multiple choice. <laughs> Multiple choice options are A, producer, B, script supervisor, C, caterer, or D, lighting engineer. Script supervisor? That's the one that stuck out to me the most, honestly. I'll, I'll take the okay. fall if it's wrong, but for some reason that stuck out to me. Okay, yeah, I was thinking of something with the script, yeah. Okay. Script supervisor, script final supervisor, answer. Final answer. That is correct. Right. Okay. Point. Jeez. Holy hell. All right. Yeah. All right. Uh, with that, uh, bring it to dead. Uh, gets the score up to 15. Uh, Law deal with that steal. It gets their score to 17. Is that what you have, Payson? That's exactly what I have. All righty. Uh, that means we're going on to round number three, uh, which is our pick your poison round, in which our teams have uh, drafted from our list of general categories before the match, and they will now draft from the categories that they drafted right here in the match to answer here in round number three. They uh, only answer up to four questions uh, worth one, two, three, uh, four points. Uh, once a category is selected, uh, the opponent cannot answer a question from said category. Uh, the categories that our team's drafted and will pick from now are recent releases, horror, 2010s, mystery thriller, fandom, action adventure directors and comic book movies have our teams uh pick their categories and hopefully we come back and finish this one out all 
All right. Our teams have uh, drafted their categories, and uh, this is what's uh, going to happen. We will go until we are either out of questions or one team is mathematically eliminated. Uh, we will begin uh, with uh, the team that is behind, which is currently Branch or Dead. Uh, so, guys, what would you like to take for your one-point question? Uh, so, do you want to take comic book movies or directors here? Uh, we can, we can take comic book movies here. Yeah, because yeah, I know what our three and four is going to be. So, yeah, it's absolutely yeah. fine. <laughs> All right, so we'll take uh, comic book movies, please. All righty. Uh, I asked you questions in round number two, so Payson, take it away for their round number three questions. Uh, oh, you're one pointer in the category of comic book. Uh, and uh, just a reminder, Brian, your dad has one repeat. Law Deal has two repeats. Uh, no, we, we have zero repeats. We don't. Yeah, so we don't. Repeats. Repeats. Yeah. repeats, Law Deal two. Uh, you're one pointer in the category of comic book movies. Lori Petty plays the titular character in what 1995 comic book film? Tank Girl. Tank Girl. Yeah. Tank Girl, final answer. Correct for one point. Okay. All righty. Uh, Branch are dead. You are still behind. So what would you like to take for your two-point question? Directors? Directors. Yeah. Directors, please. You got it. Take it away, please. Yep. Your two-pointer in the category of directors. Jonathan Demi directed the remake of what John Frankenheimer film? Oh, uh, shit. That's the one, uh, the, Manchur the Manchurian Candidate. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the Manchurian Candidate, final answer. Correct for two points. All right. That branch of dead takes the lead 18 to 17. So now we'll go over to Law Deal. Would you like to take for your one point question? 2010s or action? Which one? Um, let's do action. All right, I agree. Yeah. Okay. Action. All right, here's your one pointer in action adventure. Who appears in the action films Lone Wolf McQuaid, The Delta Force, and The Expendables 2? Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris, final Fine. answer. That is correct for one point. Law deal ties awesome. it up. 18 all. Uh, they have more questions, so we'll stick with them. Would uh, would you like to take for your two-point question? Do you, you want to do so 2010s? You, you would prefer to well, collaborate on the fandom? I just think I mean, that... I mean, like, I'm okay at fandom, but, like, is it better to have a strength that, that we can both... Like, 2010s is them. just so broad, whereas, broad. like, you know, you've studied, like, every fandom... Sensor. I would okay. trust you, but it would be mostly on you. What do you think? Let's try it then, I guess. Let's do 20 dents for two then? Okay. Yes, yes, yes. So yes, tw 20 dents. 20 dents for two. About it. Yes. Okay. All right. Here's your two pointer in 20 dents. Name both lead actors in 2016's Keanu. Uh, that's in that uh, Keegan Jordan Michael Peele, Key, right? And Keegan Michael Key and Jordan Peele. Is it is it both of them? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Jordan Peele and Keegan Michael Key. Final answer. That is correct for two right. points, giving them the lead at twenty. Bring out your dad's eighteen. So we'll go back over to them. Would you like to take for your three point question? Yes, three three. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Let's just do that. Yeah, Mystery Thriller. Uh, yep, you're a three pointer in the category of mystery thriller. In Vanilla Sky, how does David wake up from his coma after talking with tech support? Okay, I believe he jumps off of a building because that's at the end, okay. right? Unless they're, I, I don't like think they're talking I've about I've heard that before. Part. No, yeah. I feel like I've heard this question before. I believe before he jumps off of a building. Yeah. Four, Go for it. Three. Jumps off of a building, final answer. That is correct for three points. Good movie, by the way. I'm a defender of that one. 
Michael Shannon is finished. so good. <laughs> the original is also very good. Open your eyes. It's better. Uh, so, Branch we'll Dad takes the lead uh, 21. Uh, so, what did you take for your three point question? We'll take Phantom. Got it. All right. Here's your three pointer. Phantom. Which James Bond film features the Jupiter 16 space station? Okay. I mean, the obvious one that comes to mind is Moonraker. The but obvious is, is Moonraker. Is that, is, that, is that too obvious? Is there space in another Bond movie? Jupiter Six. There's a satellite. We can. We'll take a repeat. Okay. Yeah. Repeat the question. There's a satellite in. As your second repeat, your question again. Which James Bond film features the Jupiter Sixteen space station? I'm really worried because like the only one I can think of is Moonraker. What, there's a satellite in what were you gonna say? Icarus in in uh, Die Another Day, but that's a satellite and it's the Icarus satellite, so I don't think it's a space station. Okay. I just don't know that that's a three point. Right. But, right. All right. Three. Moonraker, final answer. That is incorrect. The correct answer was you only live twice. Mm. That's my fault. We should have swapped them. Yeah. Right, I was so confident. At La Deal, you got one more question remaining. Your four point in recent releases, which you have to hit to send it back over to Branch or Dead. If not, uh, Branch or Dead will win the match. You also have one repeat remaining. So here's your four-pointer in recent releases. What is the name of the academy the Holdovers primarily takes place at? Uh, Barton. Isn't it Barton? A Barton man? Okay. Yeah, that, that rings a bell. I I, I don't... I think it's I think it's Barton. I did not know it, but when you said that, it, that right. did kind of trigger something. Just like the right. Barton. We have one more repeat. Okay. Might as well use it. Yeah, repeat the question. Right. Yeah, it's like the Barton men or, or, yeah. Question, what is the name of the academy the Holdovers primarily takes place at? I think Barton would be the correct answer. Yeah. Uh, if, if you thought of it pretty quickly, so I say we go with that. Yeah. All right. Barton, final answer. And that is correct for Good four job, points. Nice. To be clear, the answer we had was Barton Academy, but Academy was in the question. So. The Academy is in the Fine. question. Yeah. Okay. Ladio gets a score up to 24. Let's see, back over to Branch of Dead. That's our final question. No sudden death today. Hooray. Uh, so, uh, Branch of Dead, you miss it, you win. If you don't, you lose, unfortunately. Yep. <laughs> four pointer in horror. What is the name of the ship that haunts Antonio Bay in the fog? The Elizabeth Dane. The Elizabeth Dane final answer. And your winners. Bring out your dead. The correct answer was the Elizabeth Great Dane. Game, guys. Good game. With that, uh, take out Branch Dead. Going to post match interviews. So, uh, La Deal. Um, you guys played a really good match. It's, it's really on par with uh, the uh, the quality you guys have been putting out uh, the last couple months. Just, um, it was a matter, it was a, really was a matter of who made the uh, least amount of mistakes here. Unfortunately, you just kind of missed a crucial question there at the end. Uh, but otherwise, how you guys feel? I mean, hand up. It was it, this one's on me. I mean, we should have uh, we should have flipped the two and the three. Um, it, it, you know, it makes more sense to go with the three on the one that we both know better. Um, but I, I was just overthinking the strategy part. I mean, you know, maybe we would have missed the the three pointer in twenty tens or the two in fandom. It just sucks that it had to be Bond because I mean, I feel like Jacoby probably would have hit it on any other fandom category, right, probably. Right. Um, There's just so. so much bond, and I stopped studying those for a little bit to study other things, and that's what you know fandom is. You know, you get really focused on certain categories, and you're just kind of hoping and swinging. I was hoping maybe it would be one of those that was you know more in my wheelhouse than than not. And I know bond, okay, that was just one I didn't. Maybe I should have fought harder, but it was it was a good match. I mean, we we yeah. did it with a you crushed that music category because I wasn't much help in that, and then you know we 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 kept it up, and you know I think we got a uh, steal where we needed to with the good doctor pull. So I'm you know it sucks. I'm happy they won, but you know I was happy to play with Scott, and Scott played a you know hell of a game. 
a good game to them. Um, I'm glad that the challenge to, you know, the decision to challenge or not challenge didn't end up being, you know, something that, that mattered in the end. Um, but yeah, no, this one, well, this one sucks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so close. So close. So close. Uh, I'll be honest. I only work here, so I am not entirely sure if this uh, ends your season or not. Uh, we will see you guys again at some point. So uh, Pace is shaking his head like it's probably not. Probably so. Probably this I'm year. Not, I'm not sure either. Yeah. Okay, he also works here. Who do you want to play when you come back? Let's get a rematch. I mean, Please. last time we lost to a team, we, we got to. a rematch. It did okay. So now yeah, we, we want did. another rematch. Don't want to rematch getting you forced just yet. Uh, so we'll just we'll skip we'll skip that one and go straight well, we can, to so. the yeah. <laughs> yeah, do that one. So yeah. Alrighty then. All right, uh, thank you guys for showing up. Uh, see you guys next time. Our brand your winners today. Uh, Branch dead. Dylan, Jeremy. Uh, you guys. Uh, I would say played a really solid game all around. Uh. Definitely, uh, Jeremy had come up in some big moments. Uh, had uh, little hiccups in uh, your uh, strength category, but you're able to battle back, uh, get all four uh, right in uh, round number three, put yourselves in good position, and uh, be able to pull out the win. How do you guys feel? Uh, I'll say I feel I feel good. Uh, I think we did a good job uh, battling back there. I think it was a it was a bit of a shaky game uh, from us, me especially, uh, Jeremy played absolutely phenomenally in round one, almost getting the perfect round one, really carrying us there. Like I was very happy, happy so uh, for him for that. So that was great. Yeah. I felt like I, I felt almost targeted by the movies that were selected by that round. I was like, wow, this, whoever wrote this really has a, they're fair questions. They were very different from the type of films that I care about. They, so. were, they were for me. They were definitely for me. Like, <laughs> especially the garden state question. That was like my favorite movie when i was 17 or whatever when it came out so like i was like hell yeah and i think that uh, shows great like, sorry go ahead yeah i was gonna say great game uh from law deal like those guys are tough and they just keep getting yeah. tougher like they keep getting better and playing better every time they play uh we we started out strong and then we got you know hit a couple times and round two was a little iffy for us today like that category is tough uh, like this, this thing that Dylan created is is great because they're all great movies, but it's tough, man. It's a tough run. Uh, yeah, and the doctor thing, he was the doctor. Like he got killed because he found out the lady was pregnant. Like that's the plot. He's because he's the the guy. So no challenge would have made a difference anyway. Uh, yeah, thank you, John Carpenter. I don't know what else to say. Like I, <laughs> you know, I, good game, man. Yeah, I think oh, that round one. one shows like why we're a good team because it like it was a lot of like it it was a lot of films that weren't in my wheelhouse, but they were exactly Jeremy's wheelhouse. So we have very different wheelhouses, which I think made, makes us very complementary of each other. Uh, but yeah, great game to Scott and Jacoby. It was a it was a fun one. I, I was very scared towards the end because I get I get a little competitive. I'm sorry. <laughs> right. Well, uh, we all believe uh, we kind of we all kind of said here. Uh, this does uh, put them in a number one contenders match. Yes, we did it. Yes, we so, finally uh, did it, Jeremy. Uh, is there is a any way we can narrow it down who they're playing, or we have no idea? Uh, let's say from the matches that have released so far, you will either be playing Sexual Chocolate, Penitent Men, or Tequila Mockingbird. Okay. Your pick. Well, uh, I mean. We've we I mean we've played sexual chocolate twice. Uh, we played Penitent Men in that very odd tournament match last year that was just super weird and so many challenges. Tequila Mockingbird would be fun. I think that's new. That's a it's a great name for a team. As much as I hate to admit it, that's a that's a great name. Um, and it's is it it's Joe and who is it? Alex. Joe, Alex. Joe and Alex. Yeah. Joe and Alex. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's that'll be fun. I don't know whoever wins. Like I, I like all, all six people, so I really don't care. Yeah, uh, penitent men. Okay, go. got it. Well, uh, we we're sorry. Yeah, we we're sorry. Uh, we couldn't get you a Jack Pinchuck. Uh, we'll Sorry, see you guys that's unfortunate. Next time. <laughs> I'll get him in uh, fandom. You got it. <laughs> all right. Uh, let's go to match. Uh, Payson. Tie something to both for us. 
Yeah, uh, I think this was a really just fun match to watch, like really close out of round one. Uh, Law Deal does really does uh, pretty well in a uh, general category. Then uh, it looked like it might have been over because Bring Out Your Dead gets their strength, but as we've all seen, strength questions can be really, really tough sometimes, and they just struggled a little, uh, Had uh, were behind going to round three, and they just showed that, um, that I think so many matches are won by just staying strong in round three. And just going the distance, and they were and they were able to pull out the win. Uh, congrats on them. They're playing in their first number one contender match. Absolutely, uh, it'd be fun to see that when it happens. Uh, for now, this will finish up our episode here at Multiplex uh, Movie Melee. Uh, thank you, everybody, for showing up today. Thank you uh, to, uh, to uh, I'm a Law Deal, uh, Scott Harvey, and Jacoby Bancroft, as well as our winners today, uh, Bring Out Your Dead, Dylan Banthine, and Jeremy Potters. Uh, thank you for the writers, editors, everybody who works uh, backstage here. Multiplex uh, keeps this ship going, so we can bring all the content to you guys. Especially thank you to whoever's watching this, because uh, I don't know what we're doing if we're doing much. Uh, thank you, Payson, for doing this with me. And uh, everybody, be well. Goodbye. <laughs> Storm in the castle. Take it away. Take it away. Bye.